Is that a bit of a wake up call? The first couple minutes of the third there, and they get those. Uh, quick yeah, you know what I said to the guys. Uh, we haven't had that situation all year, so that's certainly a, a, you know fifty two, whatever it is, fifty two games in. That's pretty good that you haven't given up a lead in the third. Um, and you know it, it happens. It's. Uh, you know, they, they get one, we, we misplay the rush there, give up a two-on-one, who downs a, you know, he's a shooter, he's a good player, he buries it, and then, you know, they throw one at the net, uh, get a lucky break, one that Jan would always have, and then all of a sudden they got lots of life in a matter of uh, 30, 45 seconds. So, put us back on our heels a bit, but, you know, we stuck with it, uh, kept going, we, we probably didn't have as much sustained pressure as we maybe would have liked, but you got a team that's now within uh, one goal of you, and I thought we stuck with it and found a way to get it done. Again, just another way to win a hockey game. Well, it turns out to be a fairly big empty net goal by uh, McKelvey. Yeah, yeah, especially, you know, they come down and, and crank one and, and get it tipped in. But, you know, just, again, shows you the importance of playing hard right till the right till the buzzer goes. It's nice to see, I mean, as, as Sissel, as many goals he gets in that situation on the empty net, he wasn't trying to to add his goal total, we saw McKelvey got the puck to him. Yeah, no, Sis, he's he as much as he's a shooter, he's an unselfish player. Actually, tonight I thought he could have shot a few more times. He tried to hit Paul Thompson uh, when he had speed wide there on a couple situations. So, I mean, if I was him, I'd be shooting everything right now. Uh, he's got the hot hand, and um, you know, he, he's plays PK, plays PP, plays six on five, five on six. He's out there in all situations, offensively and defensively. And, you know, that's a, that's a sign of a complete player. And he's, he's got the hot hand right now. So, um, you know, he's, he's a big part of this team. And um, we are all obviously uh, real happy for him. And, and hopefully he can continue. Just the type of game you're looking for with the six-game road trip coming up. To yeah, I, I, I thought the first period was really good. Uh, maybe could have been rewarded a, a little more. Uh, second period, uh, maybe not as much, uh, as many chances as we would have liked, but I thought we had the puck a lot. I, I, I thought our shot total seemed to, should have been better than it was. Uh, and then the third was what it, it is what it is, and we found a way to get it done. But, you, you know, get this, get your points at home and, again, playing a team that, that uh, we're going to see in a couple weeks in their building. Uh, but, you know, the next uh, bunch on the road here is going to be a, a tough task. But we've, we've started this stretch out the way we wanted to, for sure. You said, you know, Denise's second goal is probably one he'd like to have back, but it seemed like he kept you in, in there in the third period with some big saves. Oh, no question. I mean, that that's happened. It hasn't happened to him too much this year. Uh, just a tough luck situation where it squeaks in between him and the post. But, no, he was solid again tonight, no question. He's, he's certainly, uh, you know, he had that stretch a couple of weeks ago where, he wasn't getting some puck luck, and we didn't do a great job in front of him, but he's certainly been back to form. Uh, not only McKelvey, McPherson gets his first goal, uh, basically following your instructions, throw, throw it at the net. Yeah, you know, we've been on him to pound it up there. He, you know, you watch him shoot the puck in practice, but, you know, some of these guys get a little sensitive about getting shots blocked. But, uh, you know, he rolled to the middle of pounded. He, had, he probably had three three really good shots, and, you know, if those, if those guys aren't high in the shooting lane, then there's no threat of them blocking the shot and going the other way. If they block it low in the slot, you know, we can live with that. But uh, he had a couple real good looks at the net tonight, and he's a big guy that can shoot the puck. He's not really offensive-minded, but with a shot like that, if he can get it get it to the net, it's a dangerous play. I think you hope maybe you'd have Berlon and uh, Piedela available Friday? or. Uh, I think Berlon should be okay. Uh, he'll get on the ice tomorrow here. He's feeling much better. He's here. He came in today and worked out. Uh, Piedela question, I think it, he's a big question mark. Most of you pretty much rule off for this week. Yeah, he hasn't, you know, this. it's been this long and no progress. We'll see if we can get him on the ice tomorrow. But uh, even if he skates tomorrow, he's, he's been off quite a bit.